It's time. Ladies and gents, I am here with... Lila Smaja. Lila, I gotta tell you something. Uh, you made so many people so happy throughout this tournament because, let's be real, this is a very 10th planet friendly sort of environment. But did you hear the cheers? Did you yeah, hear all the people? It was fire. It fired me up. Yeah? For sure. Okay. But like fire in my heart. Because not only did you win your first two matches, but you did so in like such a way that like some people were like, I'm ready to ingest. It's over. Okay. Like before they could even process the match, you finished them out. Talk to me about the process of doing and competing in an EBI. First of all, I've been training for literally seven months solid. Um, so fucking hard. I've never trained this hard. You know, when Eddie told me that I was going to be one of the girls qualified for EBI, he said, I want you to train like an Olympian. And I did. I, I fucking stepped it up. Uh, two a days. Um, my swim sprints, strength, I took my strength and conditioning to the next level. Shout out to Chain Fitness, getting me strong, but we got a lot to work on. Um, but yeah, I, I've been training so hard for seven months and I've been, I was visualizing, at least for my first match, I was visualizing that guillotine for so long. That's my shit. Like, I love that. But you know, it's hard to get that Absolutely. submission in 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 high level so and that quickly and that like quickly. you usually have to do I mean, a few things to get that i don't know i feel like i was living a dream my first two matches it was like a dream i drilled those i drilled both those things like over and over and over and over and over again and it fucking happened you know um so those two fir first two matches were such a dream and the fire of the crowd was even more of a dream and, you know, came up short in my third match, semifinals. Aaron's so fucking tough. Um, I think that if I wouldn't have tapped, my arm would have broke. So I just had to tap. I mean, I could have maybe gone and, but I just like was like, yeah. it popped a couple times. And I was like, oh, there's only 15 seconds. But I didn't want to have a broken arm. So. No, no, no. And we're happy that you did tap yeah. because even though it does suck to watch it happen like that, just with that close, What's even better is the possibility of what comes next. Because, uh, I gotta say this, I'm sure that there is a, a certain amount of pride of knowing, all right, now the females get the opportunity to have their fun at EBI. It took 11 to get here, now it's your guys' turn. I can say with great certainty that if there is that argument for the next one to take place, you are part of the reason why that's gonna happen. So you, you really have done 10th Planet proud today because y like I know how much, like. All the ladies came here today with such fire in themselves yeah. of just being like, okay. And it was just like a party that got to be there. So. Yeah, it was, it's just being a part of this was amazing. I mean, like when I was, you know, of course I had all week, I had my up and down nerves of, you know, of course being a competitor. Um, you know, it's crazy what we put ourselves through, just the training part, you know. I mean, that's the hardest part is the training. And then, you know, and then we just showcase every all the skills that we we've trained and all of the hard work that we put you know that we put in hours and hours of uh, hard work and you know and we get to showcase it here you know but the nerves are a big part and you know I'm still learning um, I've competed for the past seven years and I'm still learning I still get nervous um, so I think it's a learning process and I think that this bumped up my you know it's like uh, Victor Davila was saying it's another shot you know it's like another yep. shot in your in your butt you know like <laughs> like a vitamin, you know, so every, every step of the way is, is another, is another vitamin, um, to becoming, you know, the best, the best that you can be as an athlete, as a jujitsu, uh, competitor, you know what I mean? Uh, these girls are fire. All these ladies on this card were fire. I mean, when I, we were in the locker room, just, just, I was taking it all in and I was like, fuck dude, I cannot believe I'm part of this. These, all these fucking girls, I mean, just a lot of girl, just normal girls, like, every, you know, just, it was so surreal, you know, just like yeah. giggling, laughing, gossiping, like super girly, but then like, we're all savages and yeah. warriors and it's, and I'm a part of that and it's, it's pretty amazing. So just to be a part of this was amazing. And, you know, I came up short and I have, you know, I've got a lot to work on and I'm looking forward to it because it's only up from here, you know? Well, you know what, the beautiful part about visualization is there's always another goal to go to. Yeah. So that just means as a redirect from that, I guess my next question is, at what point do you start asking Eddie, when do you get to come back to an EBI? I don't know. 
Do you want me to start that right now? Eddie, can we get her back in the next DBI? Like, I don't care what weight class it is. If it's an absolute weight class, I'm pretty sure she's just going to be like, Hey, Eddie, um, just wanted to know, what, what, what weight class are you thinking? Because I can, I can do that. Yeah, I don't I mind. Do that. I think that he's probably going to do the 140. I think he said he wanted to do like the 135 or 145 girls next. Um, and he'll probably, we have a lot of 10 Planet girls Absolutely. up and coming. So, you know, he'll probably give a chance to the other girls and, you know, I'll stay in within my weight class if they do an absolute and he wants to throw me in, throw me in. Um, you know, but I'm here to learn and to stay. You know, I'm here to stay. I'm not going anywhere. And I just want to keep learning and keep growing. From I want to keep growing in the sport. You know, I think it can take me far. And, um, you know, Eric... Eric Campella, uh, my fiance, who I'm marrying in one week. Which, by the way, we need to talk about that. But let's get back to okay. this. Okay. Um, we, you know, he's opening in Ten Planet Pasadena with Eric Ramey, and and I'm going to be a part of it. And, you know, so it's 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 my whole life now. You know, and it's just, crazy. I need a moment for this. Have we talked about the power that is him and Eric? Like that's a lot of really good oh. jujitsu, and I like they almost feel like they need to split up because it's too much good. I know it's going to be insane. It's going to be a fire school. I think it's good to start your first school with a partner like that. I think that it's going to be. I think it's going to be so great. Um, you know, because it's hard to start up a school, and I, you know, it's a lot of money. And I think that when you share it with somebody who's just as fi they're so different, yeah. they have such different games that I think it's going to be a, an amazing, uh, an amazing, um, jer like. Um, What's it called? Like, like fruition, amalgamation. No, like an amazing, um, not school. I mean, it is a school, but like an amazing army. Like mm. they're going to fucking create an amazing army. And like, I need to be very clear. If you are rolling with any of those kids, watch your legs because yeah. it's not going to be the same. You're going to look at that white belt and you're going to be like. Oh. Yeah. And then watch your back too because mm. Eric's a fucking, er, Compella, he's a fucking starfish. So is it just Eric and Eric for a second? Eric and Eric. Okay. But Compella is his jujitsu name, so it's easier. I'm just saying. Well, it's you say Raimi. Raimi, indeed. Well, so. I have to ask this because everybody was talking about it. Tomorrow is your. Tomorrow. Oh, sorry. Continue. Tomorrow is your bachelorette party. Correct. Bachelorette party tomorrow and tomorrow night, and then Sunday I get married. <laughs> okay, so when you were thinking about EBI, crazy. Were you thinking about your engagement shots? Were you like, thank God I'm not doing the combat jujitsu because oof. Yeah, no, I don't think I would ever do combat jujitsu. <laughs> oh, I wonder what happened. I think we're gonna find out. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh you're yeah. Gonna get no, married. Getting married. Yeah, no, I honestly. It's been kind of a blessing in disguise because it's like I haven't really been able to stress about my wedding and I haven't really been able to stress about EBI because it's like, uh, okay. you know, yeah. so it's been kind of it counterbalanced. Uh, definitely was focused more on EBI than sure. than I have the wedding. But um, now this week I'll be focused more on the wedding. You know, yeah. I'm going to give myself tomorrow to or tonight to sulk. Um, you know, losing is never fun. Yeah. Um, so I'll probably sulk t tonight and, you know, a little bit tomorrow. But. I'll drink it off. That's absolutely a good plan. It's been and a while since I've drank, so well, it'll you know be what? fun. Well, make sure you pace yourself then. A loss of water because you're small, and I get nervous when people say they haven't drank uh, all that often. So uh, let me just say this real quick. On behalf of all of us who watch this, thank you for doing it up proud. Thank you for being a beast out there. And more importantly, congratulations on your upcoming wedding. Thank you. Tomorrow you have earned a bachelorette party Thank to you. say the least. Thank and so I hope they show you a good time. Thank you. And I will be the first person in line to make in the campaign of saying we want to see you back here. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. All right guys, keep it locked here at verbaltapcast.com for more information. Good work out there, guys. That's the hardest I've worked yet in a competition class. Guys, you know what would be insane? If someone made a tournament outside on the ocean. What? And what if it had like a party vibe? Like a DJ, some acai, maybe some cocktails? What? It would have to be on the ocean by an aircraft carrier. What? Eric, nobody would ever do that. Of course they would. No, they wouldn't. Nobody would ever uh, make that kind of a tournament. That is a pretty crazy oh, idea. I don't think so, man. Eric, you have terrible ideas.